This is DC Danton Crow Crusader, and it's the uh, 28th. Sorry, yesterday was the 27th. Made a mistake. Today's the 28th. Who's that walking there? Anyway, oh, there's our little gulls. You see them up in the air? Look at that. Look at that. I was just looking at that guy there. Is that the, is that the janitor of the school? Because it certainly looked like him. And yeah, we're not quite sure who that is. Uh, I don't know. It's suspicious. So I saw some crows diving up on the terrace up there. That's always a bad sign. Well, do I see any pigeons here right now? No. No. So we're going to go right now and put this on the field. And then we'll go and uh, put out the nuts. For the rest of the birds, I don't see many here. I don't understand it. Of course it was warm today. Well, it was cool this morning. Fog rolled in, fog rolled out. And then the sun broke. And it warmed up rather nicely. So, but our gulls are here. Oh. Looks like a crow feather. Ah, uh, unfortunately the janitor, see that red car there, the church? That's the janitor's car. Bird killer, bird hater, bird killer. Gosh, they were just there yesterday. Oh, here's some seeds still left. Did I put it down here? Yesterday, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. I may have dumped some here. We'll see. I think I did dump down here yesterday. Okay. Let's put it out here. Well, let's move over here today. Away from that spot. Okay. Not many pigeons, just a few. It's down, it's down over here. Seems safe about here. Here we go. Put some nuts down. Put these over here. Put some walnuts out. There we go. Hey guys. Hey babies. We got eggs in there. We got brown eggs, they're a little harder to see. Okay, there we go. We'll see who comes down here today. Anyway, people watching here. Oh, look at our little pigeons. Oh, look at those pigeons. They're waiting for something here. Look at them. Okay. Let's, uh, uh dropped a little, little piece of bread there. 
kind of dangerous, my friend. Off the street. Here we go. Here we go, our little pigeons. Here they come. Here we go. There we go. Get a life, young person. Okay. You obviously don't have one. <laughs> a young man shaking his head. Yeah, well, they're pretty much uh, programmed here, right? Even the young people think like the old people. It's, uh, it's disgusting, right? You think young people will have more tolerance, be more open-minded, be more intelligent? Oh, that's not the case here in Kreuzlingen, okay? I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, let's get the rest of our nuts out. I, uh, while I was looking at my, uh, my book on Amazon, I, uh, going in Kindle format, right? you can download it to your PC, you can download it to your phone, you can, of course, download it to any, uh, Kindle type format, okay, uh, electronically. A pad, uh, any any electronic platform, and uh, and on our computer, it said currently not available. So I had to check that out and call my uh, uh, company that set up the uh, book in the Kindle format and. Uh, Anyway, I talked to a very nice young woman, and we were talking about some of the things I had read on bird life today, and that's a wonderful uh, source of information, uh, birdlife.org, uh, birdlifeinternational.org, or birdlife.org, O-R-G. And it has interesting, in the opening page, it has an opening, uh, 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 bit of information that is very, very interesting. And uh, basically it says that one in eight species around the world faces extinction. And part of what's driving this extinction is the illegal killing of birds. Wow, what does that mean? What does that mean, Mr. Janitor? of the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or Mr. Meister, the janitor of the Seital School or Gerhard Lang, the manager of the uh, Say Park Shopping Center, right? Or the employees of Hayfilly. What does that mean, right? I guess you, you understand that the illegal killing of birds, poisoning, shooting, decapitation, right? And Mr. Georg Schmidt, the janitor of the Sapework Park. Do you, do you understand? I guess you do, because you're all experts in this field, aren't you? You're all experts. So there you go, my friends. Another 20 years will be one in four, and then another 10 years will be one in three, and then one in two. So every other bird on this planet will be gone, extinct. Well, that's what's happening here in Lake Constance, isn't it? The decline of the number of birds here is rapid, okay? A rapid decline. So, yeah. Here you go.
There you go, YouTubers. Let's get some uh, more cashews out here. Looks like there's a function at the church today. Unfortunately. Okay. Gosh, I just hate that. I just hate that when I see a young person who can't be more than 18 or 19 years old shake his head like, oh, what you're doing is so bad. Oh my God. Get a life. They're so young and they're so out of tune. How can they, how can they not understand what's going on around them? I mean, most of these kids are basically on the internet 24 seven, right? How can they not know what's going on? Yeah, I ask myself this question every day, right? Yeah, it's really, uh, really something. Anyway, um, yeah, just walk over the nuts, right? Can't go walk here alone the street? No, that's uh, too hard to do. You know, these people, they just push. They push all the time, okay? He could have just walked, not one person, not one person here can walk on the goddamn street instead of walking over the nuts. What is their problem? What is their problem? I would walk out of the way, okay? But they can't do that here. 